by using label labeled brackets we can uh, know the the smallest constituent in a sentence as we have seen in di uh, diagramming process it's useful not only to know the constituent of english language but they are also very helpful to know uh, sentence structures and their constituent in other languages for example let's take uh, a sentence in Gaelic language and try to understand it. The sentence in English is the boy saw the black dog. If we translate this sentence into this Gaelic language, we get Chunaik An Gili N Q Dube. Obviously I'm reading it for your facility. It's not the exact pronunciation in that language. But uttering this to some extent help a un student understand the constituent right so we know we when we translate the gallic sentence into english we see that it goes like this so the boy the dog black so it means that the gallic sentence starts with a verb phrase right as saw that boy so we have a verb phrase consists of a noun phrase right and then the dog black another thing that we know that in this language the adjective uh, noun phrase has a different structure in english we have article adjective and noun but here what we find is article noun and adjective right the modifying adjective comes after the noun whereas in english it comes before the noun so if we use the same diagramming process. So we get chenaik, the verb. Then we get a noun phrase consists of an and gli and art and. So know that an is art and gli is noun. And then we have another noun phrase an article, q, noun and dube. That is adjective. So this sentence in another language help us know the structure through this labeled brackets and this diagramming process that how in that language different constituents are placed so gallic sentence is organized with a verb phrase then noun phrase and then noun phrase it means that the verb phrase and noun phrase and uh, noun phrase we can also say that the that in this language the subject phrase comes later after the verb phrase and as we have seen so far that in even in english the verb phrase consists of a verb and a noun phrase that is that may be objective or uh, of the sentence or uh, object of the sentence or something else right so it's different from english uh, structure English in English we know that we uh, um, generally start a sentence with a noun phrase and then comes the verb phrase and then comes the noun phrase so the structure of these two uh, languages uh, is different for example it may be uh, helpful us, helpful for us to understand that why Spanish people when they are uh, speaking english or they are writing english or uh, dealing with english uh, how why do they make such mistake as the book good so uh, we this is an incorrect english sentence because the adjective comes after the noun so uh, with the example of gallic sentence now we are uh, able to understand that in different languages the noun phrase uh, has a different structure in some languages the uh, adjective comes first and then the noun and in some languages the adjective comes later than the noun so this is the uh, usual makeup of the languages and there are so many languages you can just think of a few languages that you may know even try to uh, do the same thing with the languages being spoken in your uh, area or the languages you know you may be able to know these differences so labeled brackets with the uh, with uh, with the uh, constituent 
uh, uh, constant phrases help us in knowing the exact structure of the sentence in any language.